Hello everyone, my name is MVP of the Table, and I am going to start recording videos of me attempting to stick to a diet that is a bit crazy. Um, I'm not sure if you guys have heard of Penn Jillette, uh, but he came out with a book called Presto, How I Magically Made Over 100 Pounds, uh, or how I, magic how I Made 100 Pounds Magically Disappear, something like that. Uh, either way, he put that book out and I read it, I'm gonna try it. It's not easy. Um, I have technically already tried it, uh, starting in October 1st, on October 1st, I tried to do it. I did two weeks of potatoes, nothing but potatoes, no oil, no butter, no salt, just potatoes. Wasn't easy. I didn't make it more than nine days. Um, I seem to, well, I believe I suffered from aspartame withdrawal during those nine days. I'm a big Diet Coke drinker and apparently aspartame has some pretty bad side effects when you try and get off of it. Um, that being said, I wasn't able to finish the two weeks properly. Uh, I tried to continue the diet. Besides that, um, when I started in October, I was at 249 pounds, give or take a about 0.5 pounds, um, and I lost 50 pounds of that. Unfortunately, over the winter holidays, mostly food-oriented holidays, uh, I gained back that weight, and I continued to cheat after the holidays were over until today. So I'm currently, I believe I weighed myself this morning at 219.4, so... I'm 30 pounds below where I was when I started in October, but 20 pounds above where I finished before the holidays. So we're going to do this diet. Now, to explain the diet, uh, like I said, when I started it was two weeks of potatoes, or when I originally started it was two weeks of potatoes, and then from there I was supposed to add vegetables and fruit, or not fruit, berries, uh, into my diet, uh, in very healthy, uh, recipes. Again, uh, oil, salt, all of that was taken out. Uh, I don't use it, or I'm not supposed to use it. Uh, no oil, no salt, no sugar, uh, no meat, no dairy products, no eggs, etc. It's essentially like vegan, but even more so. Because again, no oil, no salt, no sugar, no olive oil, no cane sugar, no, well, there's salt is salt. No, none of that stuff. Um, I'm supposed to be, it's supposed to help me reset my palate so that I no longer crave the bad, fatty, salty foods, sugary foods that I used to. Um, it's supposed to reset my microbiome so that I'm vegan. Um, but it's gonna be fucking hard. Uh, my, this attempt is going to be two weeks of nothing but beans. Uh, I figured beans would fill me up better. Uh, they aren't as starchy as potatoes, but they and they have more nutrients. So I'm hoping that doing it that way will make it a little better, uh, easier to handle. Um, but nothing but beans, no salt, no oil, no sugar, um, no spices, no garlic, just the beans cooked in water. And I will eat them in front of the camera. So whenever you see a video go up, it's because I have eaten something and I have recorded me eating it. Um, there probably won't be more than two videos a day. If there are, it means I'm not doing very well. Uh, so look forward to one to two videos a day, uh, of me eating, at least for these first two weeks, nothing but beans. Uh, I will tell you what kinds of beans, of course. Uh, today I'm having adzuki beans, uh, which are a Japanese red bean, I believe. 
Uh, I've been told they have a nutty flavor, so I figured I'd start with those, and hopefully they won't turn me off to this entire diet. Uh, once I have completed two weeks of nothing but beans, we shall, um, I'll discuss with you guys about what my next step is. Um, I know I have a couple of books, one by Dr. Joel Furman called uh, Eat to Live, which is really useful. It's got a lot of good, uh, healthy uh, recipes that fit in with this particular diet that I'm going on where they try and do nothing but fruits, vegetables, and no salt, no oil, no sugar. Um, aside from, of course, what you get from the actual plants that you're eating. Uh, I also have, um, oh goodness, what was it called? The Health Span Solution by Ray Cronice and Dr. Hever, Hever, something like that. I'll show you guys the book covers at some point. Um, also filled with healthy uh, recipes that will fit in with my diet. So uh, once we get past the two weeks of beans, I might start showing you guys the cooking process and the recipes for the meals that I'm eating. Um, might, we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm hoping at some point to start live streaming this so that I don't have to record, upload, etc. Um, but I believe you have to have a certain number of subscribers on YouTube to live stream from your mobile device. And I'm trying to do everything from my mobile device to make this just quick and easy. Uh, that being said, I suppose, <sighs> I guess I'll start. Um, like I said, today is adzuki beans. Uh, cooked them earlier, they're still warm. Uh, well, we'll see how they go. So here's the problem with my new diet. It's gonna be very, very bland. And these adzuki beans are very bland. They do have a bit of a nutty flavor to them. But for the most part, yeah, very bland. Um, my drink of choice, water. And I'm gonna try and make it through two weeks of this and then continue with the rest. Uh, Keep watching. Yeah, I didn't really have much planned for this. But if I get subscribers, hopefully they will help me, help keep me honest with the diet and stray from cheating. At least that was my hope. Mm. Even encouraging me to actually get through this first bowl of beans. So yeah, uh, this is probably gonna be it. Most of my videos will be just me eating, which probably not the most entertaining. Unless you like seeing me suffer through bland beans. That being said, I'm already doing better than I was. Mm. I had wanted to start back up January 2nd. That didn't last for more than a couple of bites. Of course, those were bland black beans. Not as much nutty flavor. But you'll probably see me eat those at some point during this two weeks as well. 
variety. I may change things as they go, but I'll let you know when I do and what my plan is. I may once a week do an update of how things are going. We'll see how that goes. For all I know, talking to you while I'm eating will be all that I need. Forgot to mention, no editing is going to go into this. I don't care to edit my own video, at least not this kind, because I'm eating beans. You guys should be able to see me eating beans and talking without me having to edit. We'll see what YouTube thinks. not easy getting through all these beans. <sighs> and I will only eat till I'm full. I won't actually try to finish anything that I get in here because I hope some sometimes I over fill the bowl. But again, when I'm eating, it's going to be on film for you guys. So, we shall see. We shall see. Hmm. I guess I should explain. Well, so I could be doing any other diet. Why am I doing this one? I'm doing this one because Pendulette in his book expresses that it is like dieting without dieting once you get once you get past three months. You start craving the bland food. I cannot guarantee that it'll work. But it's my hope. I want to get to a point where eating healthy is what I crave. It's what I want. In this instance, eating healthy means plant-based. The diet requires me to eat whole plants. So if it's not a whole plant, I'm technically not supposed to have it. There are 
those little things like I can technically have cashew butter as long as it hasn't had any oil or salt added to it or minimal amount of oil or salt added to it. Um, same with peanut butter. Uh, <clears throat> there's not a whole lot else I can have. Like frozen fruits and veggies, yes. Uh, canned fruits and veggies, yes. But technically I'm supposed to be eating whole plants. So any part of the plant that is edible, I can eat. But salt. Salt is going to be very missed. Salt just makes everything taste better. I don't know how I'm going to prove to you guys that there isn't any salt in here, but there isn't, and it's really bland. But it shouldn't matter how bland the food is. Should matter the nutrients you're getting from it. And beans give you a lot of good nutrients. Later on in the diet, I will probably add intermittent fasting. Um, for those of you who don't know what intermittent fasting is, it is short fasts of 8 to 48 hours. Because um, technically, you fast every day when you sleep for more than 6 hours or whatever it is. Uh, your body goes into a state of fasting. Uh, and the whole thought behind intermittent fasting is to extend that period of time past the regular eight hours of sleep. it through. Slowly but surely getting through this bowl of beans. Um, but so later on in the diet I, there might be days when I don't eat anything and you won't see anything filmed that day unless I decide to tell you that I've decided not to eat that day. Which I might have told you the day before. Because I will have recorded me eating. I don't know. It's, we'll see how that goes. But, yay beans. Okay. I think I've had a good amount of beans. My stomach's satisfied. I'm not gonna say full, but satisfied. And honestly, I don't know how much more I can handle. Too much bland just kind of tends to make you gag a bit. Um, at least for me. So anyways, that was my first video. Hopefully the explanation wasn't too drawn out and long-winded. Um, check, uh, check back to see more, and I will post links to my Instagram, Twitter, 
Facebook, etc. So you can contact me if you'd like to and hopefully encourage me. I'd rather not hear about how crazy I am, I know. Um, again, hopeful encouragement. Uh, until the next time I record, you guys have a wonderful day and try and eat better.